Greetings YouTube and welcome to another bargain video. Today we're going to start out with books, which is a traditional, and we have three issues of the comic Hoax Hunters, which is a government agency which has disguised itself as skeptics who go out and disprove things that are said to have been mysterious or otherworldly. What they are, they just make it look like they aren't, and then they film shows about it. So it's disinformation as well as going out and de dealing with the supernatural. So we have uh, three issues of that. I started looking at one of them. It's pretty good. Then we have the Hinterkind, which is kind of a fantastical post-apocalyptic vibe. We have an issue of a uh, collection of the Goon. Um, this is not a book directly. This is a book light, which I'm going to give a try because it's supposed to be good at illuminating the page without illuminating the room around you. So you're not supposed to get light shining into your eyes. Well, I'll give it a try. It was three bucks. Uh, we have the Heroic Age, which I picked up specifically because there was a gorilla on the back. I love a good gorilla. Uh, then we have uh, more Dr. Seuss and Philosophy. I have not read the first one, but again, I when you're you know visiting thrift shops, you find what you find. So I'm going to give give that a look. Then we have a uh, video game inspired film called Tekken. We have From the Haunted Cave. No, is it from the haunted cave? No, is it evil from the haunted cave? Beast from the haunted cave. My apologies. Beast from the haunted cave. We have a collection of best of Johnny Carson. I have some fond memories of Mr. Carson, and I paid a dollar for this because it was the sale. That, that was the color for the day, which was yellow. So I paid like nothing for that. We have Bedazzled, which is uh, a silly film about a guy that sells his soul. Um, that's Satan, um, but I like. Uh, his name is escaping me now. It shouldn't. I apologize. Uh, but I got it for the ha the Harold Ramis commentary track. We have a uh, vampire m film called uh, Rain in Darkness. That looks tacky. We have a Dinosaur Island movie. Uh, dinosaurs are always fun. We have a Christopher Lee Taste of uh, the Blood of Dracula. We have Earth versus the Spider. And we have... Uh, uh, what's the full name of this one? Bell, Book, and Candle, which is a classic Jimmy Stewart movie. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually seen this, so I was kind of kind of pleased to find that. All right, so now it's going to be more digital media after I get this cleared. Next, we have the Cinematic Titanic series. And this is made by Joel Hodgkins from MST3K and some of the original cast members. So it's done in a very similar vibe with silhouetted figures making in front of a film making comments of about bad science fiction things. So we have the Oozing Skull, the Wasp Woman, and the Doomsday uh, Machine. I haven't watched that one yet. Watch the other two. They were entertaining. We have the first two seasons of Wings, a show that, a show that I had kind of fond memories of, and it was four bucks. Um, Doom with Batman. Dan Curtis Dracula with Jack Palance playing Dracula. I cannot wait to see Jack Palance chew up the scenery in an absolutely over-the-top hammy way as only Jack Palance can. We have Monstrosity, the Atomic Brain. The first season of Smallville, I've never seen Smallville at all, and uh, it was five bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny thing is, when I was looking at it, I found the I found a copy of this. It's not uncommon to find doubles of the of the same thing. I mean, it's a thrift shop. Um, and I looked at it, and all the copy, all the one I was looking at were bootlegs. This is a real one. The other one's a bootleg, so I handed it to the person at the counter. I said, I don't know if you care or not, but this is a bootleg. And she did care. She should get rid of it. Um, the Revenge of Frankenstein. The Almighty Johnsons. I bought this cold. I know nothing about it. It's basically about a family. As, as they become adults, they turn into Norse gods. So I have no idea if this is any good or not. It's from the Sci-Fi Channel. But for five bucks, I'd give it a shot. We have Innocent Blood, the comedy that takes a bite out of crime. And I have a vague memory of seeing this on cable. Um, Robin B. Hood, which is a Jackie Chan film. We have Howard Jones and the Foo Fighters. My wife picked those up. 
Uh, my wife picked up this as well for herself. This is a an ex really nice X-Acto knife set with all kinds of uh, interesting, useful blades and a couple of nice handles. This one right here is particularly nice because it has a nice chunky feel. It's got a nice w balance in the hand. And if you're gonna be using a larger blade, this really is an excellent choice. I think I prefer this type over like this type right here. I mean, they all have their own place. This is of course for like delicate work. Um, then we have a Ryobi triangular shaped sander, which I picked up for 10 bucks and it was it got sanding discs and it's in the box and looked like it was very little used if at all. I got two different uh, power tools here. This is a DeWalt four and a half inch angle grinder. And this is a Porter Cable disc grinder, but it's it, it's a little different because it's not an orbital. It doesn't. It's not a random orbit. It's just a straight-on disc one. This one fascinates me because I could I turn this into something else. I don't know. I'm gonna play with this and see if I could maybe modify this to make it into a different kind of a tool. We're gonna find out. But I paid five bucks for both of those, so I'm like, I can't lose. You know what I mean? And they also came with a handle. Um, I picked up, I think, nine or ten of these at a hardware store, brand new, but they were on sale for like 95 cents a piece. And I'm thinking I'm making these the strike heads of a club just for fun. Um, it, they, weren't be, they wouldn't be a realistically strong club because this is not a big thread to hold them together with. But I think it might be visually interesting, particularly if I like, use a, a nice piece of square stock tubing or something like that. I think these would make a nice... Uh, interesting weapons build. All right, so we have a few more things in this particular uh, video, and I'll put those in next. I picked up an ammo box for 10 bucks. I use those for storing knives and such. This wooden spindle, which looks like it's got a hole, it's the same diameter all the way down. The last one I you purchased made was somewhat difficult to work with because it had a tapering internal hole. This one doesn't have that. I got that for very little money, so it's probably going to end up in some kind of weapons build just for fun. Um, this is an angle finder. You loosen this and you can open it up and get different angles. Um, I thought that might be interesting. I bought an actual anchor, which I don't think was ever used. Um, and it's the first anchor I've found that was small enough that I might be able to do something with it. Now I think what I'm going to do is cut off this bar and probably take off these two flanges. Maybe not, I haven't decided, but use this so I can slide it inside something or hold it inside something to make an interesting pick of some variety. If I can preserve these, I will. If I can, I'll lose them. And of course I can reuse the bar itself as a, as a handle for something else. Um, and I'll, I'd have to be losing these little bit here so I cut off this and, you know, Maybe I'll find a use for these things, who knows. But uh, the first anchor I find was small enough I could think I can do something with. So I was really happy about that. Then we have a wrench, which I've never used. It's called a power grip, um, which is supposed to be like self-ratcheting, meaning self-closing and stuff. I've never used this type of wrench before. Obviously, the person that owned it didn't ever use it because it's still in the box. Uh, so I'm going to give that a try. I have this nice little hatchet, which is really quite lovely. You got a, it's got a nice vintage look. It's got an I-beam design, which means that the weight is not, it's, even though it's full tang, there's not a lot of weight here. The weight's here, and the edge is actually in pretty good shape. I only have to do a little bit of work on that to make it actually fully functional. There is a bit of peening here because people have used this as a hammer, but that's a lot of hatches get used that way. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I, I picked it up at an antique shop. And at the same antique shop, I picked up this bill hook. Um, this bill hook has no edge, none whatsoever. So I'm going to have to put a new edge on this. But I'd like to preserve the rest of the, of the look. I like the rest of the look. I don't know how secure this is. I really don't. Um, so I may want to give that a bit of a tap to get that in there a little more firmly. But the guy used uh, just a, mostly just a, as an advertisement or to show you what it used for, this branch. I, and it really happened to just like the vibe. So it may stay like it is. Uh, we have a couple of punches here. And I'm thinking, well, this one was beat to heck. This one was treated a little more uh, uh, nicely. And I'm thinking maybe I could turn these into a pick. That might be cool. 
because the way they're shaped it might be make it easy to get it into something and then drill through this that drilling through this would be very difficult i freely admit this but then pin it in place so that i could make a pick of some variety that would be spiffy we have this which is from husky which is if i can get it to open it here it's a utility knife with like an access lock ripoff. So I need to I need to play with that and give it a try and see how difficult it is to to work with and change the blades and stuff like that. Um, but I thought that was kind of cool. I've never seen something like that. I got a bunch of spoons for nothing at, an, at, at a yard sale. They said take them. And I'm thinking of turning those into points. And um, you had there's a video coming up that will be shown under crafting with Tetsubo where I actually turn a spoon into a shiv. And I'm thinking of turning these into points to make them them part of some kind of other weapon. Just for giggles, because I can. Um, we have this, which is a actual Harbor Freight tool, but it folds up so that this goes into here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, this is the lock right here, but it also goes at angles. So you could have it at like at a, at a 30 degree angle in either direction, which means that you could scrape paint like on a windowsill or something where you can't get your hand directly in line. And it is really actually very well built. So I'm like, I commented to my wife that I liked how well it was built. And she said, it's probably one of the early models. It's like, you know, they, they, they put out a, a product, see how well it does. And then they get the next bunch that are, that are cheaper. And I, she, I've seen the same thing from Walmart. She could be right. But yeah, it's a nice tool, a nice folding scraper. And I've used it already and it works really nicely. It's quite comfortable. So I was, quite, I was happy to see that. We have this, which is a bottle opener and also could be a coaster which is obviously someone's used for because there's a little watermark on there. But I thought I'd give that a try. It was like a, it was like a dollar or something like that. Because um, it made me smile. It's obviously handmade. Um, and they did a pretty good job. So I always, I always appreciate that kind of thing. And if we don't like it, we donate it. And lastly, we have this. An entire bag of casino dice. And I didn't have any blue ones in my collection. And casino dice are kind of cool because they're just this very you know, chunky square design and nice big pips on them and uh, you know me i'm a sucker i am a sucker for uh for dice all righty so thank you for being here for this bargain video i hope you enjoyed yourself and i hope that i will see you again in the next one and uh check out my instagram and uh my deviant art feed to see things that i find for my instagram like for stuff i don't buy weird stuff i find i'll post on there and my DeviantArt for all of my weapon builds. Thank you, have a nice day.